Hi, so today we're making fresh farmer's cheese. Super yummy on toast with jam or on a soup, believe it or not. So what do we need? Two ingredients, milk, whole milk and buttermilk. So we're starting with the whole milk. I have here about eight cups of whole milk um, and I need to bring the temperature of that milk to 170 degrees. Once that's reached the point of 170 degrees, we then add three cups of buttermilk. So I'm waiting for the milk to heat up. So the temperature is reaching 170 as we speak, perfect. And so to that, I'm going to add three cups of buttermilk. All right, so I've added my three cups of buttermilk to my eight cups of whole milk. And this is what's happening. It's starting to make cheese. So now we have to let it sit for 10 minutes. And in 10 minutes, we will strain this to get our fresh farmer's cheese. So this is what we get. Once you've actually uh, mixed the three cups of buttermilk into the whole milk, which was at 170 degree, you're gonna leave it on the stove for two minutes with the heat on, and then you leave it alone, and guess what happens? This is what happens. So your cheese appears. This is your farmer's cheese right here. I have a strainer. I'm gonna fish it out, and you can discard the whey. So here it is, of course, before you eat it, you can let it cool off. Or if you use it in a soup, you can actually use it as is right after straining it. Now, this is unsalted. There is no salt. You can salt to taste if you wish to. Um, we like it plain because we add it to other things that might be either sweet or salty. So enjoy and uh, welcome into the world of cheese making.